Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be looking at the parallelogram, okay? And for the parallelogram, the area of a parallelogram is equal to the base multiplied by the height, okay? Similar to the rhombus, guys. Very similar. So the area is equal to the base times the height, right? The perimeter, P, is equal to 2B plus 2W, right? Where W is the width because the width here is also equal to the width here. And the base, right? This base here is also equal to this base here, okay? Because they're parallel. As you can see, uh, the arrows indicate that they're parallel, okay? So it says where B is equal to the base of the parallelogram, H is equal to the height of the parallelogram, and W is equal to the width of the parallelogram, okay? All right, so you know I love to do three examples, right? And for the three examples here, we're going to find the area for the parallelogram and the perimeter for the parallelogram, okay? So for the first one here, we're going to find the area of number one, and we can see that the perpendicular height is equal to six centimeters. So to find the area, we would multiply 12 centimeters multiplied by six centimeters, and 12 by six should actually give us 72 centimeter squared okay so that's the area for this parallelogram and the perimeter should be equal to two times the base which is two times 12 centimeters plus two times the width which is two times four centimeters okay so we should end up with 24 centimeters here plus eight centimeters here and we should actually get 32 centimeters for the perimeter, okay, for the first question. Awesome, all right, guys. Okay, so for the second question now, all right, we need to find the area as well and the perimeter. So I'm gonna write it here. The area is equal to the base times the height, which is equal to 10 meters, which is the base times the perpendicular height, which is actually five meters. So we're going to end up with 50 meters squared. Cool. Now for the perimeter, the perimeter is 2 times the base, which is 2 times 10 meters, plus 2 times the width, which in this case is 6 meters. Cool. So we're going to end up with 20 meters plus 12 meters. So the perimeter should actually be equal to 32 meters. Cool. All right, so we we'll finished number one and we're finished number two. And now we're gonna look at the third question. Okay, the third question down here. And we can see here that the perpendicular height is equal to three millimeters and the base is actually equal to nine millimeters. Cool. Even though the base is written up here, we know that these are perpendicular to each other. So they would actually be the same distance, okay? All right, so the area should be equal to 9, which is the base, millimeters, multiplied by 3 millimeters, okay? And 9 times 3 should give us 27 millimeters squared. Cool? No. All right, guys, so I'm going to do the perimeter down here. And for the perimeter, it should be equal to the base, 2 times the base, which is 2 times 9 millimeters, plus 4, which is the width, 2 times 4 millimeters, okay? Which should actually give us 18, 2 times 9 gives us 18, plus 8, and 18 plus 8 should actually give us 26 meters, millimeters, all right? Because it's measured in millimeters, okay, guys? All right, so we found the area, guys, and the perimeter for number one, for number two, and for number three. And now we can actually move on, all right? We can move on to other examples, all right? Remember to do the worksheet. We have more examples of parallelograms there. And we will move on to the trapezium now, okay? All right, guys, so that's it. And I'll see you in the next lecture. And remember to do your best, and God will do the rest.